So we've done my watch collection, my outerwear collection, and today we're gonna take a look at my shoe collection. Actually, I should say that technically this is my footwear collection, not just a shoe collection, because I am going to include boots as well. Many of you have asked to see this. I have lots of pairs of shoes. One of the perks of He Spoke Style is that occasionally I get things sent to me, and that's one of the reasons my shoe collection is so large, though I do buy a lot of my own shoes as well. So I'm gonna break this video up into categories, which I'll index down below in the description so you can jump around if you want. The order will be Oxford slash Derbies, Monk Straps, loafers, boots, and finally sneakers. A lot of shoes to get through, so let's jump right in. The shoe I'm gonna start with is this one right here. It's by Cole Hahn. It's a black cap toe Oxford. I've had these for a really long time, probably close to 15 or 20 years at this point. Obviously, they're very formal because they're black. I wear these primarily with a dark gray or a navy suit. Next are the classic Allen Edmonds strands in walnut. You're gonna see a lot of Allen Edmonds in my collection. It's got a cap toe, lots of beautiful broguing. These were the first pair of Allen Edmonds that I ever got. It was about seven years ago. They're extremely versatile. You can wear them with a suit. Uh, because of the color, they also work really well with jeans. I have a narrow foot, and I like that Allen Edmonds offers a variety of widths. This is the Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenue cap toe Oxford. I believe the color is mahogany. Another really classic shoe has a little bit of broguing, gives it some nice style, makes it a little less dressy. Another really versatile shoe that I wear quite a bit. Up next, we have the McAllister from Allen Edmonds. I have them in a chocolate color, which I don't think is available anymore, and also in black. It's a wingtip Oxford. Lots of beautiful broguing. Again, I wear the chocolate pair quite often. These are shoes that I like best with a jacket and trousers look as opposed to with a suit. Although with the right fabric, I think they'd work with a suit as well. Another classic that's very versatile. Last pair of Allen Edmonds in this category, I promise these are called the Broad Street. They don't make them anymore. It's a wingtip spectator. I haven't worn these in a very long time. I got them very early on when I started He Spoke Style. Wore them in a couple different posts you can see on the website. My styles evolved over the years, and this isn't really the kind of shoe that fits my day-to-day -day kind of look, but I keep them around because you never know when I might find myself at a 1920s or 1930s themed event. Here's a real workhorse pair of shoes for me. These are by Todd's. They're in a dark brown suede cap toe. These, as you can see, get a lot of wear. It's a really easy to style kind of casual shoe that looks awesome with jeans and also very nice with a jacket and trousers look. Next are one of the absolute nicest pairs of shoes that I own. These are by Enzo Bonafe. They're derbies, beautiful leather, rubber sole. I bought these when I was in Oslo, Norway at a shop called Skomaker Dagestad. Please correct my Norwegian. Uh, I was told to check out this shop and they were having a huge sale when I was there and these were actually 50% off. I've never worn a pair of shoes this expensive and I can tell you that you really can feel the difference in the quality of a shoe at this level. It's hard to describe, but you know it when you have it on your foot. Here's another wingtip Oxford. This one is by Johnston and Murphy. Oxbud color. Broguing got a rubber sole. Like the Allen Edmonds strands, these were one of the first pairs of shoes I got after starting He Spoke Style. It's a versatile style, it's a versatile color, and they've held up pretty well. Final pair in this category are these whole cut Oxfords by Paul Evans. Most pairs of shoes are made with multiple pieces of leather, but whole cuts are made with just a single piece, which gives them a very clean, refined, and elegant look. Moving on to monk straps, and the first pair here are by Allen Edmonds. They're called the Warwick. It's a single buckle monk strap style, nice oxblood color. I don't wear these too often. Honestly, they just kind of got buried in my closet, but looking at them now, it's a very elegant profile and it makes me want to find more ways to style them. Next are double monk straps from Tommy Hilfiger, kind of a medium brown color, silver buckle, cap toe with some nice burnishing. I'll admit that the leather on these shoes does not feel super high quality. It's not terribly supple. I do really like these shoes though. The color just makes them so versatile and really easy to pair with many different kinds of outfits. Here is a dark brown pair of Double Monks by Paul Evans. It's the Burton model. Probably one of my most worn pairs of shoes. They're very simple and classic. Darker color makes them really easy to pair with suits. I think they look great dressed up. You see me wear these all the time on the channel. So when it comes to my shoes, Robin is always like, oh look, another pair of brown shoes. So look, another pair of brown shoes. 
These are dark chocolate suede double monks from Suit Supply. I love these shoes, they're so nice. I love the color. Simple cap toe, they've got silver buckles, leather sole with a rubber inset, and very comfortable to wear. So this is probably the wildest pair of shoes that I own. These are by Santoni. They're a double monk strap, but then they have this kilty aspect to them. It's kind of cool, it's kind of weird, I get it. Um, it's not the most versatile shoe in the world. They are quite comfortable and definitely make a statement, that's for sure. Uh, I don't have occasion to wear these that often, but when I do, look out. Loafers, so I have lots and lots of loafers. You know, given the choice between a lace-up shoe and something that slips on, I generally opt for the slip-on shoe for one reason or another. I like that loafers sort of occupy that in-between, between dressy and casual. Uh, there's like an element of stylish nonchalance with loafers that I really like. Maybe I'm just trying to justify why I have so many. But okay, first pair here are these by Allen Edmonds. These are called the Grand Cayman, another model that they don't make anymore. Uh, it's like a crocodile embossed leather with a horse bit, rubber sole. These have been one of my go-to pairs of loafers in the summer going on about eight years now. Another pair that I've had for quite a long time, these are a light brown suede penny loafer by Two Boot New York. I found these at either Saks Off Fifth or Neiman Marcus last call, I can't remember exactly. But what I do remember is that they were very deeply discounted. Uh, they didn't fit quite right at first, a uh, little too big, so actually I ended up putting an insole from a pair of my running sneakers into these and that totally did the trick. These penny loafers are by Carmina. I bought these when Robin and I were on vacation in Barcelona. They're a really beautiful pair of shoes, high quality for the price. I do have a small regret here, and that is that I definitely should have gone up a half size. I thought they'd stretch a little bit over time. That hasn't happened. We'll have to see if I can get them professionally stretched out a bit. Here is the Allen Edmonds Kenwood Penny Loafer, obviously super classic in every single way. If you look closely, you can see that this is not broguing here. This is where our cat Linus, may he rest in peace, chewed on them a little bit. Also, these did not come in a narrow, so I do have a little pad on the tongue here to help them fit a little better. Moving on to some tassel loafers now. These are the Deerfield 2 by Johnston and Murphy. This is one of their more premium shoes. I don't think they make this model anymore, which is a shame because it's a really, really nice loafer. I wear these shoes a lot. You see them all the time on the channel. Between the color and the tassels, they just fit my style so well, and they pair so easily with so much of my wardrobe. Another discontinued, I believe, model here by Allen Edmonds. This is the Palm Beach. There are a few sizes left on the website, but the pickings are very slim. It's such a cool shoe. I don't know why they would discontinue it. It has a woven leather here, as you can see. Tassels, this is another loafer that I love wearing in the summertime. It always gets lots of compliments. Suede tassel loafer here by Morjas. These are made in Spain, and like the Carmina shoes, these are an incredible value for the price. Uh, this pair is very versatile and works in any season. They look great with flannel pants. They look great with cotton pants. They look great with jeans. Dressier pair of tassels here. These are the Grayson by Allen Edmonds. I nailed the sizing on these, and as a result, they're super comfortable to wear. They're black, which means they're dressier. Typically, I wear them with darker suits. Uh, for me, they have a very elegant and sophisticated quality to them. Here is a pair by Todd's. It's a little fancier, maybe a little more fashion-y than most of the pairs of shoes I have. There's a little bit of shine to the leather. We did a project with Todd's maybe like four years ago or so, uh, and that's when I got these. I wore them quite a bit, but I feel like my style's changed uh, since then, and they don't quite fit my style now. Uh, but every so often, I do put together an outfit uh, that they look perfect with. Another pair by Todd's, these are the Gomino Driving Loafers. If you haven't already, I did a whole video on whether Todd's Gominos are worth it or not. I recommend checking that out if you're considering these shoes. Link is right up there. There are things I love about these shoes and there are things I hate. Comfort, they're extremely comfortable. Value for the price, spoiler alert, I didn't think they were worth it and I did pay for these myself. Interesting pair here by G.H. Bass. It's a kilty loafer, but it has a buckle on it too. G.H. Bass, obviously known for their Weijin loafers. I really like this shoe. I wear it a lot. You've seen it on the channel before. They're very comfortable and they have great style. Here's a suede loafer from a newer brand called Bowden and Lang. It's their Sagan or Sagan model. Uh, it's in a brown suede. It has a heel. It's a very comfortable shoe to wear. It's quite versatile. I really like this particular pair in the summer. 
I will say that if you are considering a pair of these for yourself, that I would size down by half a size. I took the size that I was supposed to here, but they've stretched over time and they are a little tricky to keep on my feet now. Up next, we have a quartet of loafers from one of my favorite shops, and that is Belgian Shoes in New York City. They have a few different styles. I have three pairs of the Mr. Casuals and one pair of the Henrys. The Mr. Casuals have a soft leather sole and heel. I have a black suede pair, a brown suede pair, and a wool tartan plaid pair that Robin got me for Christmas a couple years ago. These shoes are so comfortable, they're super light, so elegant and yet still very versatile. There's nothing like a pair of Belgian shoes, Mr. Casuals. The other pair I have from Belgian shoes are these, the Henry in black patent leather. These are my formal shoes. I wear them with a tuxedo. I wore them for my wedding. They have a hard leather sole and heel, which differentiates them from the Mr. Casual. You can get them with different bows, but this bow is the quintessential Belgian shoes style, and that's why I like it. So here we have a pair of velvet slippers. These are by Stubbs and Wooten. They're called Scotch for obvious reasons. Uh, and then I have another pair from Stubbs and Wooten called The End. I wore these on New Year's Eve. Perfect opportunity for that. I like these types of velvet slippers as a way to add a little bit of fun to and take the stuffiness out of more formal looks. They're great conversation pieces. They can say a little something about you and your personality. And like the Belgian shoes, they're so comfortable. I actually wear these around the house. Now, I know I said velvet slippers are a great way to add a little fun to a formal look, but I do have a quote unquote boring pair of black velvet slippers. These are by Del Toro, has that little strip of red on the heel, which is a signature of the brand. Got these a long time ago, kind of before I was comfortable doing something a little more fun with velvet slippers. On to boots now, and we are starting with Chelsea's. This pair is actually the first pair of Chelsea boots that I ever got. They are by Jack Irwin, and you can see that they've definitely been worn, gotten a lot of use out of these. The color makes them very versatile. They look great with jeans. This is a pair of boots that I will miss sorely when they are gone. All right, this pair is new. They're by Scaroso, a little bit darker than the previous pair, so I feel like they're a little dressier. This is a pair I could definitely wear with a suit as well as with jeans. Want to point out the leather sole with the anti-slip rubber inset. Really beautiful pair of boots, which I styled a couple different ways recently on the boots video. Check it out with the link right up there. This pair is by Reese. It's an interesting kind of gray or stone colored suede. This is a pair that I have a little bit of difficulty styling, but they're a really beautiful boot. Another suede pair, these are by Grenson in a snuff suede color. Another great casual Chelsea boot that pairs really well with denim. I've been wearing these a lot recently. My first pair of Grensons, and I'm really impressed with the brand, both from a quality standpoint and a fit standpoint. This pair is by Stacy Adams, black suede with some interesting detailing. We have a little bit of broguing and the wingtip detail. I like the contrast here between the dark brown and the black. Uh, this isn't the most versatile color or the most versatile boot, but this is one that I'm happy to have as an option from time to time. Moving on from Chelsea's to this boot right here. It's by Two Boot New York in a chocolate suede and it's a zip up boot. It has a rubber sole. I've had these for a long time. Again, this was a Saks Off Fifth or Neiman Marcus Last Call Find. The price was unbeatable and they were my size. So here we are, another boot that really classes up denim. These beautiful oxblood color boots are by Bostonian, the number 16 cap. This one, unfortunately, is no longer available. It's a beautiful boot. The leather is so, so nice, very supple. They feel great on my feet, super comfortable, very easy to style, just a great classic pair of boots. Speaking of classic pairs of boots, next we have the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boot. Now, I'm gonna admit that my pair has seen better days. I've had these for a long time, probably six or seven years. And over that time, they've gotten tons of wear because they're an awesome boot. I have them in a chocolate color, but it doesn't appear that that color is available anymore. Uh, I've also ripped the pull tab in the back of this one, so they could use some TLC, but one of my all-time favorite pairs of boots. Here's another new pair you've seen recently. These are by Scaroso, a lace-up leather dress boot. These are a little dressier than the Daltons, but I've quickly come to have the same affinity for them. They're very versatile. They're a little easier to wear with a suit, in my opinion, and they will dress up denim a little more than the wingtip boots, but this is a really, really nice pair of boots. From dressy to more casual, now we have these Jodhpur boots in an olive suede by Coach. They have a chunkier sole, 
very comfortable. Uh, they have a really interesting style, not one of my most worn pairs of boots, but from time to time, they fit the bill perfectly. Two pairs of the iconic Clark suede desert boot here. We have a chocolate brown and one in a sand color. Really classic kind of casual boot, have the crepe sole, very easy to style with denim and very easy to wear. These are the Grinson Bobby hiking boot. It's more of a hiking style boot. I don't know if I'd actually go on a hike with these. They're kind of a little too nice. Uh, the leather is beautiful. We have the hiking style laces and that classic chunky white sole, which is extremely light. The whole boot itself is very light, which makes them very comfortable to wear. Now, they call these duck boots, obviously they're a moccasin, but I'm putting them into the boot category because they're descended from the duck boot. You can complain in the comments if you like. Anyway, I've had these for many, many years from L.L. Bean. They're my bad weather dog walking shoes and they're perfect for that. Now, here are a pair of L.L. Bean duck boots. They're the eight inch version. Really not much to say about these. They get the job done and keep my feet dry. All right, here we are at the final stop, sneakers. And the first pair we have here are by Common Projects. They're the classic Achilles low top, kind of an iconic minimal sneaker. This is the third pair that I've owned and you can see I haven't worn them that much yet. Uh, it's like getting a new car and trying to avoid getting that first ding. Uh, I've tried a couple lower priced options and since I spoiled myself with a pair of these a long time ago, the $100 knockoffs just don't do it for me. Next, a very similar sneaker by Koyo. These are the Capri Triple Whites. Did a styling video with these not too long ago. They're very good. I was impressed with the quality. Uh, you have the same Margam sole on the Koyos as you do the Common Projects. Full comparison video will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. This pair is by Suit Supply. It's in a nice kind of tan color. I like the contrast between the sole and the leather. These are kind of like my day-to-day, -day, if I just need to run around sneakers, I wear them a lot. Uh, they're not the most comfortable, I have to say, but they're not bad. Here is a pair of brown leather sneakers. These are by M. Gemi. I believe this is the Lucente, uh, but I wasn't able to find the color combination on their website anymore as I was putting this video together. It has that Margam sole. Uh, leather is a little stiff, but it is a very handsome looking sneaker. Finally, give yourselves a round of applause if you've made it this far. We have this pair by Lamvon. This was a splurge early on in my He Spoke style career. They are suede with the patent leather cap toe, contrasting white sole. Not my everyday sneaker, but every once in a while, I do put an outfit together that these are perfect for. So that is my shoe collection, my footwear collection. I think I counted 55 or 56 pairs. Uh, I didn't include my gym shoes or my running shoes, but if you're curious for the gym, I wear the Nike Free TR8 trainers. And for running, I wear the A6 Gel Kayano 26. Leave your comments down below, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time we publish a new video. Until next time, everyone, thanks for watching and stay tailored. <laughs> my shoe collection, actually my footwear collection, I know someone will hammer me in the comments about that, but I do mention it. Take one. Ah, it's nice if I angle it down like that. If you look closely, you can see that this is not broguing here. This is where, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> have great style.